Now the details here. A Philadelphia transgender activist identified as Kendall Stevens is now charged with sexually assaulting two children under the age of 13. Action News reporter Annie McCormick. She's live for us outside police headquarters with the new details we're learning about this, Annie. Yeah, Gray and Shari, disturbing details. Kendall Stevens was arrested today for the rape of a minor. Sources confirmed that she is the same Stevens who is a prominent LGBTQ activist in the city. The state attorney general's office filed charges tonight against 37 year old Kendall Stevens. The charges include the indecent assault against a person less than 13 years old, rape, unlawful contact with minor sexual offenses, and endangering the welfare of children, parent, or guardian. Stevens came to Action News in August of 2020 after she was attacked in her Point Breeze neighborhood. She says she was targeted by a violent group for being a trans woman. Stevens then became a prominent an activist for the LGBTQ community. She urged lawmakers to change Pennsylvania's hate crime statute to include protections for LGBTQ people. She is seen here in March of 2021 at a press conference launching District Attorney Larry Krasner's LGBTQ Plus Advisory Board. The board was created in part to be a source of information and resources for victims and survivors of crime within the community. It means to me that the transgender population will finally get the support that we need from City officials that we really haven't gotten historically. Sources tell Action News the charges are in relation to the rape of two young boys under the age of 13. Stevens remains in custody tonight. A spokesperson for the district attorney's office said in a statement the investigation of allegations against her is being led by another agency, and as such, we have no comment. Now, Judge did set bail at $250,000. The next court appearance is scheduled for December 29th. Often, the state attorney general's office takes on cases from local district attorney's offices if there's a conflict. For now, reporting live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray and Shari. Yeah, Annie, thank you. A story that we will stay on top of. Thanks for the update.